eyes of the nation are focused on safety. Safety of human lives in the metropolitan areas, at work, at play, in schools and on the highway. Above all, safety for the lives of the thousands who will be the men and women of tomorrow. Leaving their homes for school and play, we want them to return again without one single tragedy among their number, without death due to traffic. But this will not be the gift of Providence. Providence is not always so kind. It will be the result of diligent work on the part of civic authorities in cooperation with a younger generation working for safety. The police officer is a real friend of every boy and girl. Let's work with him. Now, don't look upon me as a police officer. It just happens to be my work to encourage carefulness. I'm one of all your parents. When you go out on the street, we want you to come back to us. Boys and girls, we don't want you to be hurt. We grown-ups are careless, yes. We're all careless, aren't we? And so we all have a lot of work to do. Now, we must tell everybody to be careful. Now, your activities are many. School, play, and work. You come and go on these busy streets. Now, we can't begin to talk about all the things we should do. But there's one subject that worries us a lot. And that is bicycles. Bicycle riding is a real healthy sport. Bicycles give us pleasure, exercise, take us to school, and often help us to earn money. I want to encourage every boy and girl to ride. It helps you grow into strong, healthy men and women. But riding a bicycle can be the most dangerous thing we do. I was driving down the street one day, and I saw Jones with a nice big box of popcorn. Well, he could ride without even touching his handlebars. But he just couldn't resist that last fight. You think he'll be all right, Doc? Oh, yes, he'll be all right, but he'll probably be in here for several weeks. I, I don't know how we'll pay for it and unless we use the Christmas savings. Willie knows what that means. Wouldn't it have been better if Willie had done it this way? Bobby keeps his eyes on all the corners and side roads. He keeps his hands on the handlebars because when he goes home, he and father and mother and little sister will keep right on living. You bet they will. And when Bobby makes the right hand turn, he does it that way. Then that fellow behind has got to watch out for him. Bobby is riding safely. Those street crossing signs are made for bicycle riders, just the same as for automobiles. Bobby observes them carefully. See there? That motorist didn't stop. It's his fault. You bet it is. And it's a good thing Bobby stopped, isn't it? Bobby has good brakes, too. He knows that he can stop when he has to. You'll never catch Bobby doing this. Boy, that's hard on bicycles. This boy didn't save any time either. It's better to take it easy. You'll get there quicker. Uh-oh, look at that. You simply must not ride the sidewalk. This officer is only doing his duty. The sidewalk is not meant to ride on. The boy feels guilty, all right. Isn't that so, fella? The officers know Bobby, too, but it's a different kind of greeting he gets. Friends like these are worth having any old day. They'll do you a favor every time. Dangerous business, horseplay. Motorists are careless, fellas. They'll hit you. Starting in and out like this should be done in the park, 
or anywhere except in the street. When you were young, you were taught not to do that. Well, this is just as bad or worse. Because you're going so fast that the motorist just doesn't know which way to turn. Use your horn to let people know you're coming. They appreciate being warned. They'll watch out for you. A good bicycle horn or horn and light combined such as this is worth a lot to you. If you have one, be sure it works, but we'll bet that Dad will be glad to help you get it. He'll be proud of you for even thinking of it. Lights especially are important. It's great sport to ride at night when you're safe. Lights should be on both ends, front and back. Why, the police will stop an automobile that doesn't have lights, as big a thing as a car. Why shouldn't they insist on bicycle lights, too? The best protection you can get. Inspect your equipment, fellas. Keep it in good condition. A good bicycle is something to be proud of. When it's a wreck, well, you just get careless with it. But when it's good, you're going to be more careful. You see? Poor brakes. And look at that broken pedal. That's dangerous. These boys are cooperating with their best friends, the officers of the police department. Their license numbers are proudly exhibited, and every frame is stamped like this for police protection. It's a drive, fellows, a big drive for safety. These boys are getting their instructions. They're listening carefully. They'll all be here tomorrow, and all the rest of the tomorrow. These officers try to teach the boys how to ride safely. Stay away from that left curb. Signal your turn. Then you'll be safe. And keep your eye on the other fellow. He may be dangerous. It's best to do as the officer says, and then he'll protect you by teaching you things like this. Many bicycle riders have achieved their fine records in this way. Do it this way, fellas. Go down the street with a feeling that you know the traffic rules of your city. And always be careful. Twenty years from now, you'll still come home to dad and mother. They'll still be glad to see you. You'll be the man they want you to be. And fellas, listen. Someday, you'll have a boy.